The RFID system is one part of Target's retail accounting system. It was developed in-house and implanted in 2017. The inventory system is a crucial to this, the survival of the company and the backbone of the company's thriving. The reader picks up the data from the EPC tag. Each EPC tag is unique. By reading the data on the tag, we can identify the number of the specific item that we have on hand. The RFID system has over 75% accuracy for calculating inventory. All targets use this retail accounting system. That includes manually inventory audits, item data, full functional data, and inventory data, says Amy. The retail, the retail accounting system is responsible for keeping track of the inventory, automatically ordering for restock, and plays a vital role in the day-to-day -to -day of running a Target store. Once an application is in production, the team becomes responsible for supporting the application throughout the stores. If something breaks or a team member has problems using the application, they will call the front desk to help, or if they can't answer that, uh, the team will transfer the team member over to the development team for help. The development team is responsible for what meets the business needs. New applications are often launched with a, just the basics, set of requirements and features. To manually audit inventory, a team member can use this application to scan an item and enter a new inventory value, which is then sent back to HQ. Again, we run the data through some filters, accuracy, and then update all over the inventory numbers. Target originally implanted a third-party application, and it was determined that it was not filling Target's needs. There was also a desire to build knowledge in this space and would ultimately provide an organization with a competitive advantage. Target determined that we wanted to own a development of our own technology. A set of standards of development process and reinforcements through engineering a board onboarding process as well as a partnership with more experienced mentors on teams. New applicants and software are placed in production at a single store and validated. Once comfortable, a team will expand to a small group of stores. This process helps and will continue to larger groups of stores across the chain. Target did not rush this application of the new software. As testing was done, it rolled out to approximately 1,800 stores and took about six to eight weeks. The application does not require any special skills or experience to operate. Stores operations is responsible for communication and training in the stores for the majority of these apps that it perform. Target uses the RFID as an indirectly boost sales figures because the savings it realizes through streamlining inventory products are being redirected to customer service. Revenue and brands claim by 3.6% in 2019 to the previous year that reached $7.8 billion to $75.4 in 2018, says Prep 20. Efficient supply chain management has also helped keep the company prices low. Target has a different business model compared to other retailers within the stores. They have private label brands. These are company owned brands and products that amount for one third of the total sale and products. There are 41 brands owned by Target, which are both major sources of revenue and sources of competitive advantage for the brand. How does this new in information system create a competitive advantage? The answer lies in the ability, availability to turn a positive customer experience. With having stuff in 
their system, keeping up to date. Customers will not leave empty handed. Amy states that they have meetings at the end of each sprint where we look to see how we did the work, not what the work did for us. What went well and what we can continue, what didn't go so well and what we can make changes to. Do we follow the process? They also use this as a team building experience and celebrate their wins and accomplishments. Make sure some of the stores are not falling behind in keeping the store stock. Some locations seem to have more success by keeping the product stocked. Identifying the stores that need help and get employee training to help them be more efficient. We as a team have learned that when you split things up, you can focus more on the individual assignment. And then we come back into our meeting and tell our other teammates what we learned and it helps us figure, learn more about each thing. We also learned that having consistent schedule and meetings once a week have helped us not procrastinate.